Divas. I have a haul for you today from DiamondPaintingFactory.com and I do believe I have next to me the prices that I paid for these things so I can tell you um, how much they are. And Diamond Painting Factory is a budget priced place. They, I've, they have some really good diamond paintings. Um, I've been pleased with the quality that I've been getting from them. I have not gotten any squares from them up to now, <clears throat> but we shall see. We shall see what uh, the things I ordered here. Let me see. I don't cover that up. I ordered, and I'm not going to open them up to put them in a tray. I will bring you in, however, so you can see them more closely. They're very plasticky, um, not glass at all. These are half beads. They are drills. You can use them as drills. There are, they are round. I have some blue here. Uh, I think there's maybe 2,000 of them in here. They, they're by weight. I got a blue, a clear, like a, an icy clear, and a green. I'm going to try them out in a diamond painting. And see, they're very staticky. I can see them staticky against the edge of the the uh, plastic. That's why I kind of think they're, you know, of a cheap plastic. But they're shiny, and I think they might enhance uh, a diamond painting as well. I wanted to see what they were like. Coming from Diamond Painting Factory, I didn't know how they would turn out. These are four ninety nine a piece. It says resin, luminous drills, ten thousand pieces in a pack. I got for $4.99 a piece. 10,000 pieces. Resin luminous drills. Okay, I guess they could be resin. They're definitely not glass. Alright, I want to put them with my special drills and see if I can use them in a diamond painting. To move another one off the table, I got a special. 3D acrylic ornament. Okay. Comes with your typical kit. It comes with some charms to dangle off the one end. Some plastic charms and beads. It comes with all these special drills that you're used to in different shapes. It looks like there's teardrop shapes in here and rounds. This is a 3D ornament, and it's got the plastic on both sides of it now, so I can't twist it, but it's only got, it's only connected through a piece through the center, and they're supposed to separate and turn. Will they, though? It says it will. I don't know how it can on this stem here. But it's got a mandala in the inside, and then it's got the rainbow colors around the outside, and it's done in special drills. I'll try to get the glare off of it here. It looks kind of like a sun. The mandala looks like a sun with the rainbow around it. And you should put these each, these circles are supposed to spin around it, but it's got this thick plastic connector that goes all the way through. So I'm not sure how it's going to do that. But it gives you enough for a hanger at the top. It gives you the hanger, and then you put the dangles on the bottom. Alright, I'm eager to do this one, and I will show you the outcome. I'll do this up, and I'll show you the outcome at the end of the video. That was $14.96. And these diamond paintings look like they're all $19.99, $20.99 a piece. Except for the one, and I'll show you that. The shipping cost for this was eight dollars. All right. Okay. Most of the diamond paintings are twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine a piece. So <clears throat> this is a girl on a peacock riding a peacock through the sky. It is round, fifty by seventy centimeter. Basic kit. 
Okay, it reminds me of a style of painter I absolutely love. It's 50 by 70. It's a girl riding a peacock. Very pretty. This would be great for those green, and these would be good to try the luminous ones in. Ooh, I'm going to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. Comes with round drills already kitted up in little baggies. There are 23 colors in this. A nice sticky canvas. We'll see how this, uh, if, I hope the image, especially of her face, comes out nice and clear and it doesn't come out muddy. But we shall see. And it has a uh, join our Facebook group at the bottom. That's one. That's the peacock. <clears throat> and I think I will use those drills in that. I think I will. It would be a good test. Back in this little baggy. All right, that goes together with those. That was twenty dollars. What I do for these type of paintings, I have <clears throat> I have inventory sheets that I I uh, copy picture of what I'm getting. Um, and I believe this is the one <laughs> that I'm, yep, I have, it's Jesus and the Shepherd. I have inventory sheets. I print out a colored picture uh, that I copied off of the website, and I use that on my inventory sheets to make sure that I get the right diamonds with the right kit. I write on the top, like I'll write Diamond Painting Factory on the top. I'll give it a title, Jesus and the Lamb. And this is a 50 by 70, but it goes the other direction. You can get smaller ones than this. Um, it's better for me to show you sideways like this, but I want to show you the lamb's face. It's so beautiful. Let me turn this over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that pretty lamb. Beautiful. I would use black ABs for the eyes. Now you can't see a whole lot of Jesus' face. Come on now. Get away from the glare. I want to show you the face without the glare. There it is. There's Jesus' face without the glare beautiful tree in the background. If I were to put in special drills in this one, on the top of the lamb is one color, on the top of his uh, lap, his knees, and on the robe around him, I would put white ABs to let that shimmer. And there's, you can put white ABs in the cloud here too, where the light is reflected off the cloud definitely would do that. The basic kit, it is 22 colors. Oh, this one gives you a black and white sheet that gives you the quantity even. It looks like it has the DMC colors with it. Yes, it has both the DMC colors on here and on the canvas, so you can save the extra drills if you'd like. It comes pre-kitted up in the bags. That's nice. And again, this is a round, 50 by 70. <clears throat> and then I would do, since most of them don't come with a picture like this, what I do is put a slip of paper in with the drills that have the same information that you'll find it on the top of the, the canvas. The, um, its own item number and the company that it's from, Diamond, Diamond Penny Factory, and the name I've given it and how big it is, 50 by 70. In case I accidentally get more than one size, I have the size, it, it'll match um, there. So uh, that's how I, if I have to flatten out, oops, gee whiz, if I have to flatten out the paintings at some point and separate them from the drills, then I'll know which goes to which. All right. The 
fold this back up and put it in its little baggy. I might even bling his robe. The red part of his robe I might even bling. This summer uh, 2023 I'm going to be doing a de-stash. So be aware of that. If you'd like to be included in the de-stash I need you to fill out one of my forms my questionnaires so that I have your information ahead of time so that if you win something and you aren't there I can still send it to you because I'm not going to mess around with picking numbers and all that other kind of stuff I want to keep it simple and if I have your information then you qualify let's see okay let me open the end of this it's kind of like put together weird I've got three three girls walking through the forest in um, antebellum dresses they look like antebellum dresses the hoop not not a huge hoop but the the hoops at the back and at the bottom I'm not sure which these all cost uh, $19.99 walking through a forest so there's lots of opportunities to bling these up. Basic kit. Okay, these come with the black and white inventory sheet. And they're not bagged up. They come in the, the blister packs, the sealed blister packs, which is fine. I like to kit up into a different item anyway. Okay, these are, let me see what the size is. It's 50 by 70 as well. She is walking through the forest on a red path. She's got a dark green robe and she's got roses in her hair and down the back of her dress. And that's the perfect opportunity to do some blinging. Fold up the bottom a little bit. I'm gonna show it to you without, without the uh, glare here if I can. It's not easy. Uh, when I get my craft room done, maybe by next year, we're uh, renovating part of the house and, and uh, making our big garage into our craft and art room. So by then I'll have a new, new um, photo setting. Beautiful women, beautiful dresses, beautiful forest definitely an opportunity to bling down the dress. There are some flowered plants over here, a little bit dotted around the side that you could bling up. I would put crystals, uh, the glass crystals, sparklers in the dress, and I would put ABs around the outside. To give it some depth, I might put some ABs in the sky, in, in the, the light, light lit part over this, so that it would like give her a halo effect. Um, I would scatter them in that way. And it would draw it draw your attention around the whole painting. Down, up and down, and then around the whole painting. That's how I would bling this out. There are some spots in the bottom here in the rocks that you could put some ABs as well. And it looks like they have the DMC color number on these as also. It was so nice to see some new people in chat on Tuesday night. And we have a live chat Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For those of you who are night owls in the United States or lunchtime um, late, late in the evening for those across the world in Aussie land. <laughs> place I would love to visit someday. Australia and New Zealand. Another one of the baggies. I don't like the way they baggy them. It's just a plastic sleeve that they cut, but they don't have, they're using cellophane tape at the top. They're not using the foldable flap. That I don't like. But these companies, they work with a bunch of different factories, so they get they get the paintings from different factories. 
that come in a different way. This is another one of the girls in the forest. Same thing, 50 by 70, round drills. This one has a more beautiful gown. It looks almost like velvet, like green velvet. Oh, this glare, I'm telling you. All right, she's walking through the forest. She has even more, uh, even more flowers down her dress, all the way to the bottom of her dress. She's, she's got, you can use white ABs on the white areas of her dress. You can use sparklers in the flowers that go down her hair and down her back. And there are some flowers in the sides, on the sides of her, that up in, up in here, um, anywhere the light is reflected off her dress or off the sky, you can use like sparklers or ABs, Aurora Borealis drills. I'm going to replace some of it in the trees with some green ABs. The flowers on the sides, ABs, and the sparklers for the ones on her dress. Because she is the focal point of the whole thing. That's the way I'm going to bling this one out. Beautiful. Beautiful. 50 by 70 again. All right. Isn't she beautiful? It just reminds me of the bygone days of when women were beautiful and young, it reminds me of being young. Okay, these are pre-kitted up in the bags. They're not in the blister packs. And it does come with a black and white um, instruction folder here. That's good. Very, very good. <laughs> they are a stiffer canvas. There is no puckers or anything. It's a Porsche glue canvas, which is the best. Uh, let's see. I could have gotten them in a smaller size, but for some reason I wanted them big. Okay. One more of the girls, and then I have a special one to show you. Another 50 by 70. Another girl in the woods. In the woods. She is also green. She's got bigger roses on the bottom. Bigger roses in her dress. It's more of a close-up of her. Lots of places to bling out on her. You can see more of the backgrounds of the village in here. Lots more of the field flowers around the edges. She's got bigger flowers in her hair because you're closer to her. There are some flowers up around here that you could sparkle out. And again, I would use sparklers in her dress to emphasize those. I would use ABs like where the light reflects on her shoulder and on the fringe on her sleeve here, her sleeves, and in the sky, give her like a halo effect. I would use the ABs in the flowers on the edge here, and maybe a little bit bling down on the path to get your eye moving up and down the canvas. What you want to do when you place sparklers and ABs and that kind of thing, what you want to do is look where the light is reflecting in the uh, the painting and wherever that is that's a good place to put shine something that you want to to bring the attention to in the flowers in this instance would be a good place to bling i want to give her special attention to the velvety feel of her dress so i would use um I wouldn't use ABs too much more than the places where the light refracts. When you do, like I said, when you do replace things, you want the focus to be constantly moving around the painting. So you don't want it all in one place, and then that's the focus, and that's where it stays. But you can put the fanciest ones there, but you can put the other special twinkling, because twinkling draws the eye, so it's special sparkles around the rest of the painting in uh, 
in a shape that keeps the eye moving around and around. That's the way I would do it. <clears throat> Again, round drills in the kitted up bags with the black and white picture with it. I really do enjoy that, the, the uh, having the picture with it like that. I really do. That sounds like a summer project to me. Basic kit. <laughs> Don't uh, throw away those little waxes. If you do throw away the trays and stuff, I don't blame you because you. a lot of us go for the fancy trays. And if you do use the wax, and I still like using wax, I have some, on Etsy, I have some cover minders that also have wax in them so that you have your wax right where you're diamond painting. Uh, I, you can refill those little containers with the, the regular wax that you get. Okay, this one was a little less expensive. It's still a 50 by 70 round. It was $13.95, so it was like a dollar less. Oh, look at this. Look what it's coming in. That's a surprise. It says diamond painting, diamond paint hobby. Interesting packaging. It's got string through the top. It reminds me of Bella Dina Cole, who does a much better, you know, a fabulous job with her. So this is really interesting. But this is a plastic instead of an organza bag. Still, I've never seen anything from a budget company be packaged like this. <clears throat> it has a card saying Diamond Painting Hobby. Ah, okay. There is a Facebook page and a and a website, diamondpainthobby.com, and it looks like it is in like a uh, Norwegian language, something like that, a Scandinavian language. So this must have been a diamond painting company. This came with two kits. Looks like it's the basic things in it. Yep. Even though they're rounds, it comes with the little cheapy tweezers. It comes with the pen and squishy, a heart of wax, and a clear plastic boat with the funnel end. Interesting that it came with two of them. Really interesting. <laughs> It comes in... Oh, there's some ABs in this one. Ooh, good deal. And we will do a full canvas unrolling on this one. It comes with a styrofoam tube. Let me roll it the opposite way so it relaxes. Only do this on poured glue canvases, by the way. Double-sided tape does not take well to doing this. But this is the way you get to relax a painting if you don't have time to open it flat and lay it under a couple books or something. Okay, let me show you the painting first. <laughs> it is printed in block letters in the top the greatest book I guess it's supposed to be shop because there's some flowers on top of it the greatest ever bookshop in the world <laughs> they will be nice easy letters to read because they are block printed this is a definite bookstore it has some flags across the top some European flags. Don't ask me what they are. I do not know. Got flower baskets on the one side in hanging baskets. It's got flowers across the top of the shop and a window. Looks like there's a kitty in the window. I can't, I can't get this in the picture, but it looks like there's a little kitty in the window. Another glass, a gas lamp with some hanging baskets. There's a basket of geraniums on the ground over here. A bicycle. 
with the flower basket on the back and um, a tall door with a transom window here. You can see all the books in the shop. You can see a gal putting some books away, <coughs> stretching up to put some books away. <coughs> it's got a sandwich slate board, a sandwich blackboard at the bottom. You can't read what's on it. I don't think you're meant to. Um, it's just look at the scribbles. And it's got a, a blue border behind the bottom. It's going to be a lot of confetti, but it will be beautiful. It's got 32 colors. It's got the pinked and poked edge. What I like to call pinked and poked. It's not surged, or you, if you surge something, you it's a machine that has the thread that goes around the edge. There's no thread on this, so it's not surged. Please don't use that term for it. Um, pinked and poked because it looks like it's cut with the pinking shears or decal edge scissors. And it looks like it's poked with a sewing machine needle. And that is all to prevent fraying. Come on. That is all to prevent fraying. This is a really good canvas. I wonder if this company went out of business and they're selling off their their kits. I'll have to look into Oh my gosh, I have a whole train of ABs here. Okay, let me cut them off so I know where to look. Okay, I'll bring you in a little bit so you can see the drills up close and personal. All right, <clears throat> if I show you the back, I mean, I don't think the numbers mean anything on the front. They're not DMC numbers. It's just the code that is given with the symbols and the inventory number of the uh, actual canvas. So there's aqua and blue. A lot of peach. I like that. Pink. Pinks. Greens. Well, when you have plants, you have greens. Blues and oranges. Brown and blue. More pink. More green. Let me get into the, the yellows. And brown. Uh huh. And the greens. That's the major colors. Moving that off here. These are the ABs. It looks like they're two packs of the black peacock ABs, which mean AB means Aurora Borealis. It's coated, completely coated with a special reflective uh, shiny coating on it. And sometimes it reflects different colors. I call these the peacock 310s because they're a 310 black and they have the blue and green reflective color on them that reminds me of peacocks. Here's a blue. A blue that has a bluish greenish tint to it. That's a different color. And a light blue. So where are these wonderful things going? Yes, I was right. These two are the same. Let's see. Let me look at their numbers. Their inventory numbers here. Let's start with the one on the very bottom. It's the light blue, the plus sign. I have an idea. Oh, some of the books inside here. I'll bring it out so you can see the whole painting at once. Some of the books in the bookshop have the plus sign in it. I see it down here. I see it in her dress as she's stretching up. I see it in a flag up here. Do I see it in any of the flower business? No, I do not. There's some on the, the, the edge, a straight edge right here, and yeah, straight edge along here. And there's more in the book spines that you see through the, and down here beside the flower pot, down here. So that's where the light blue ABs go. 
the like a royal blue. The, it's not a navy blue. It's kind of like, um, it's a dark blue though, but it's definitely not black. These are number 31 and they are white stars. Where do I find the white stars? Okay. There's a second row. Like you find the, the pluses where I just showed you the light blue up here down below it. There's a row that has a lot of the white stars in it and it goes around the windows so you have oh that's a great idea right around the windows you have those you have some that goes around the side window here none in the door none in the transom I see some in the book covers in here and in the windows at the top of the painting that's for the darker ABs. Now for the 310 ABs, that is an equal sign. Oh, they're all over the bike, so the bike is going to shine. They're all over the door. They are the door, so that will shine in a different way. Uh, up in here with the books. The inside of this, that's an interesting place to put them. It's going to be on the inside of the blackboard sandwich board here and up the side uh, window on this side, all the way up. So you do have, you do have, like I said, you do have the, this, the, the full, your eye going all around the pit. You have your eye going around the wheels. You have it going across and up. So you have straight lines going across and up. And you have uh, some things dotted on the inside. You have her highlighted. And you have the windows highlighted at the top and across the, the top thing. What I would do, I'll use the, all the ABs for that, but what I would do is then pick out some flowers along the side here and here. There's a couple even at the very bottom of the painting. What I would do is pick a color that is common to most of those, maybe the pink, and I would use some maybe some sparklers there if I were to replace them, um, just to give it a different type of sparkle. But this, I like this. I like this kit a lot. I I would not have expected this good of a painting from a budget company. A dollar cheaper, a couple dollars cheaper. The other ones I showed you were $19.99. This is $13.95. It's a 50 by 70, just like the others. And it has ABs, and it has the anti-fray pink and poke edge on a really nice canvas on a foam roller with those special kits in a special bag. Wow. That's really interesting. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> this again, this is from Diamond Painting Factory, and I. That's all I have for this haul today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to look for. Uh, I have a video linked in the description box below for my 20 tips on using special drills and Aurora Borealis drills, because uh, sometimes they can be a little tricky to put into painting, and. Let's see. Join us and the Work Basket community on Tuesday nights for our live from 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're in about one, about two or three hours on those. And to see if you would be interested in catching a live, you can catch, you can look at a replay of any of the lives on that little channel. Don't forget if you want to be involved in any of my giveaways, my happy mail, that kind of thing sign up, uh, uh, email me at wandasworkbasket at gmail.com and ask for the questionnaire. Let's see what else. Check out the Etsy shop if you're into scrapbooking and junk journaling and diamond painting for the cover minders. I will soon have some new stuff up on there soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. 
I will be happy to have you as part of the Work Basket crew. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming, divas. I look forward to seeing you again. God bless. Bye-bye. And if you choose to further bling up this kit, I have a, a discount code, 15% off anything at uh, Garden Painting with Sparklers which is in the description box below. And I hope you will use that discount code if you'd like to bling up your paintings. Hi, Divas. This is a conundrum here. This is the final product without being sealed uh, on this one object from Diamond Painting Factory. Now, it's really neat. I really like it. It's pretty. Had extra spare drills. Um, there's a problem with it, though. Okay. Now, that's with a bunch of spare drills left over. That's not a problem. There's plenty of them in there. That wasn't the problem. It came with the hook for the top and the baubles for the bottom. That's not the problem. Now, in this, you can plainly see... Okay, wait a second here. You can plainly see, as I copied off of the website, that the rings are supposed to be, you know, free of it, right? Not just look flat, but to spin around the outside of it, right? It can't. There is a flat piece of plastic that connects them all in a line. You see that? There's no way for these to move separately. They're all in a line at the top and the bottom. If you want something to spin, you put a rod through it, not connect them all like that. You have the hook, you know, the dangle stick at the bottom and the other one at the top. But I wanted it to spin freely. That's not going to happen. <laughs> it's pretty as it is, but that is not what they advertised. That's the problem. So if you're expecting to get one that is free like that, that's not what you're gonna get. At least not with Diamond Painting Factory and this kit. I just wanted you to be aware of that so that you're not disappointed when you get it. It was $14.96, so there you go. I just wanted you to know that, so that if, you know, you pick these out, you aren't disappointed. So thank you again for tuning in, and I wish you a very sparkly spring. Bye-bye.